Hi, I'm a year three mechanical engineering student studying with the Faculty of Engineering. I'm also enrolled in University Scholars Program and Design Centric Program. Today, I ride with the CBR 400, one of the most popular motorcycles on Singapore streets today. This is not exactly a proper CBR 400, it's actually a prototype of an electric motorcycle using a new concept of production. One form of production is building purpose built motorcycles while the other is actually converting motorcycles from petrol engine to electric drive. This quick conversion is important because it reduces the amount of manpower costs related to the conversion of the motorcycle. Also, by streamlining the process, it effectively creates an opportunity where mass conversion is possible. The reason why we decided to change the petrol engine for electric drive is because the most fragile part of the entire motorcycle is the motor. The motor tends to shake itself to pieces and therefore it has a limited lifespan compared to the frame. By effectively removing the motor and changing it for electric drive, we are now recycling the frame and extending its shelf life. This is environmentally friendly and cost effective. The reason why it's environmentally friendly is because what would have normally been equivalent to a scrapped motorcycle frame has now given us the opportunity to change it for an electric drive motorcycle. This process is important because for the government, it allows, it is a stopgap measure between the period when combustion engine vehicles start to go, see a downward decline while electric vehicles start to be start to pick up. There is a need to change infrastructure on a large scale. We are able to produce large quantities of electric vehicles and be able to test infrastructure laws and assumptions that the government is making. Overall, this is a win-win situation for both users and businesses. For users, it is primarily because electricity is a lot cheaper than fuel. Also, for a few thousand dollars, you will essentially be getting a brand new motorcycle. For this project to have happened, I'd like to thank my teammates and my professors who are both knowledgeable and supportive of me, as well as the other teammates who have provided me all of the necessary support required for the project.